My name is Philip Neiman, and I would like to present the paper Complete Classification of Torsion Analytic Curves of the Quadratic Sectonic Fields. So, by Mordell Wilde's theorem, uh, if K is an number field and P an analytic curve over K, then uh, E over K is a thing to generate the dealing group. In other words, E over K can be written as T plus I times Z, where T is the torsion sum. Uh, by Mazur's theorem, we know all the possible torsion subgroups over the, of an elliptic curve over the rationals. So it's one of these 15 groups. So Zn for n between 1 and 12 and different from 11. And Z2 plus Z2 uh, times n for n between 1 and 4. If we uh, examine uh, the possible torsion subgroups of an elliptic curve over all quadratic fields. Uh, then the possible torsion subgroups are uh, these 26 groups. Uh, what's more, Z3 plus Z3 and Z3 plus Z6 appear only over the field Q root of minus 3, and Z4 plus Z4 appears only over Q of R. Unfortunately, this theorem does not tell us anything if we look at the, at the specific quadratic field. So if we fix a certain quadratic field, then we don't know which of these groups will actually appear. So uh, in our paper, in this paper, we uh, study the possible torsion subgroups of an elliptic curve over these two fields, over Q root of minus 3 and Q of R. These two fields are special in a certain way, as they are the only two quadratic cyclotomic fields. And, uh, these torsion groups appear uh, over these fields, but uh, they do not appear over any other field. So, we prove that if E is an elliptic curve over Q of I, then the torsion subgroup of uh, E over Q of I is either one of the group, groups from the Mazur's theorem or Z4 plus Z4. Also, if E is an elliptic curve over Q of I, root of minus 3, then the torsion subgroup is uh, either one of the groups from Mazur's theorem, Z3 plus Z3, or Z3 plus Z6. Uh, we prove this theorem by using some of our previous results and finding all the points on two hyperlytic curves over the fields Q of I and Q root of minus 3. Thank you.